Good afternoon. Here is our latest update on COVID-19 in Pennsylvania. As of 12 a.m. this morning, we have 837 new cases of COVID-19. This brings our statewide total to 57,991 Pennsylvanians who have tested positive for COVID-19 in all 67 counties. This includes 3,923 positive cases in healthcare workers and 12,130 positive cases among residents of 540 long-term care living facilities, which include nursing homes and personal care homes. Tragically, our statewide total of patients who have tested positive for COVID-19 who have passed away is now 3,806. And to date, all of the deaths have been in adult patients. As Governor Wolf said yesterday, our common enemy is the virus, COVID-19. It continues to impact our communities, especially those residents in long-term care living facilities such as nursing homes and personal care homes. Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have focused our efforts to protect residents living in these facilities by ensuring resident safety, preventing and mitigating outbreaks, and working in partnership with state agencies, local health departments, and long-term care facility operators. The Wolf Administration has worked across state agencies in this regard, including the Department of Health, the Department of Human Services, the Department of Aging, the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency, and the Pennsylvania National Guard to slow the spread of this virus in these facilities. We have provided education and training to nursing home staff using the best available clinical information from the CDC, including how to stop transmission among residents, universal screening, and use of personal protective equipment for staff treating patients. We have leveraged our existing expertise and resources to provide consultation to nursing home operators to help them prevent and control existing outbreaks. This has included staff from our nursing home licensure program and our healthcare acquired infection program, as well as additional support through the independent contractor ECRI, education support and clinical coaching program partners through the Department of Human Services, and the independent state agency, the Patient Safety Authority. We have gotten approval from the federal government to allow more flexibility so nursing home operators could hire more staff. Department of State waived and suspended several licensing regulations to alleviate barriers for healthcare providers during the pandemic. And when necessary, we have facilitated direct staffing of the facilities that are in crisis. The Pennsylvania National Guard has provided direct care, education and training, and clinical consultation to support for now 10 facilities. We have sent more than 1,700 shipments of personal protective equipment directly to nursing homes and personal care homes to make sure that they have the right equipment to protect staff and residents. Testing is another essential piece of our efforts, and today we are announcing a robust universal testing strategy for all staff and residents in these facilities. This strategy focuses on ensuring testing is accessible, available, and adaptable to the evolving landscape of this virus. If a patient is hospitalized but then has to return to a nursing home, before a patient can return to that facility from a hospital, they must be tested for COVID-19. This will provide valuable information to the facility to ensure that they take the proper precautions to stop the spread of COVID-19 and to monitor their condition to ensure that they have the care that they need. A health alert network advisory was sent to these facilities today that outlines this process and when and how to retest residents. The alert 
also outlines how nursing homes are able to manage patients through cohorting once the test result is received. To accomplish all of this, we will be using testing swabs provided to us from the federal government for facilities that do not have an adequate supply, as well as testing resources available at our state laboratory and commercial laboratories. The Pennsylvania National Guard also is mobilizing to provide a mobile testing option for facilities that cannot do the testing on their own, and we have today Director Randy Padfield of Pima to discuss that. To ensure Pennsylvania is in line with federal guidance released late this week from CMS, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, today I am also ordering nursing homes to report deaths, cases, and tests performed using the same system that hospitals are currently using. They will be required to re report beginning May 17th, and this information will be reported publicly through press conferences and on our website. By testing every resident and every staff member in every nursing home, we will be able to pinpoint exactly who has COVID-19, who has been exposed but no symptoms, and cohort positive cases to prevent further spread. This effort will give us a clearer picture of the extent of outbreaks in nursing homes and a head start at stopping them. Here is the thing that we all can do to help people in nursing homes. We can continue to maintain social distancing no matter what stage of reopening your county is currently in, whether it's in the red zone, in the yellow zone, or even in the green zone. We know that COVID-19 didn't suddenly appear in a nursing home and it had to be brought in by the staff, by the people who care from our residents in nursing homes, possibly someone who was asymptomatic at the time. So we need to do all do. We need to all work together to do our best to protect people in these, vul these vulnerable people in these facilities. Sometimes it's hard to do the right thing, and sometimes the sacrifice seems greater than the reward. But I am committed, and the governor is committed, and the administration is committed to doing everything we can to make sure that Pennsylvanians are safe. We are willing to do what it takes, and I'm thankful for leaders like Governor Wolf who have the courage to do so.